Hello, 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 and welcome to Slay the Spire Downfall! Now, I don't know if you've played much Slay the Spire. I don't know if you've played any Slay the Spire. I don't know if you know what Slay the Spire is, but we're using mods. For example, today, let's use a somewhat new character, the Evolution. Hey, Heart, what do you got for us today? Uh, let's choose a rare card. Okay, we got that. Uh, Ritual. So... There is a big old vanilla game with lots of big old vanilla stuff to it. We're not doing that. We're doing mods. We're doing a lot of mods. Let's smith up some stuff. Let's upgrade. Oh, see, the problem is I don't know what the heck this does. So let's upgrade it. I don't know what it does when you upgrade it. I know what the card itself does. I want to try to rush through so I can beat the game in one video specifically. Uh, boom and boom. So basics of the game. You have, uh, let's discard these two. Ritual. Defend. Attack. I shoot. You have energy. It starts out at three. Uh, cards require certain amounts of energy to be used. Uh, this character has all this adaptation stuff. So if you see, we got one merfolk. So now let's get a Lyman. Uh... Let's get rid of both those strike cards. What do we think? Boom. Okay, that's three energy used. Then we have to end the turn, and the enemy does whatever their thing is. So, if you do this, that's two energy. It gives us an insect form. We can ritual take the insect form, but it also uses the merfolk and lyman forms that we've already taken. So, boom. Since we took the insect form, we get a drone. That's modded stuff. The enemy was using a retreat action. It ran away. But, after the battle, we still get to add a card to our deck. So, who do we want to grab? Dive, Visions, or Heavy Kick? I'm thinking Dive. The gray cards are basic, uh, are like common cards. The blue cards are uncommon. And the gold cards are rare. We don't have much money, so we can't buy much stuff. Oh my gosh, we can get Gene Mastery. Uh, power cards are used once, and they're just gone for the rest of the combat. Lyman form, insect form. Let's do this. Okay, that is thorns. When we attack the thing with thorns, we'll take thorns damage back. They're going to attack for four. Let's get rid of this. Okay, insect and Lyman, we have both of those. This, do we want to take Lyman? Lyman is one of our things that we can get. We can't get rid of that. All right. Lyman Mastery. Now that card is a permanent Lyman Mastery on it. Also, we lost... Don't know how, where, or why, or when we got Sloth, but okay. Boom, now we have Merfolk here. That's two, and then Drone will exile itself. We got the other two that we need. Let's discard the Strike, pick up a nice Defend. I really don't know why we have Sloth. But we have Sloth, apparently. So, our energy is, like, very, very bad. So, I say we just attack for 16, and we take the 2 damage. We don't deal the 3, because 3 damage and taking 2 is a bad idea. Let's discard the strike. Alright, let's gain a bit of block here. Uh, strike. And check this out. Strike, and then it dies, so we don't have to worry about it attacking us back. Let's see. Sea Serpent, Lizard... Four, gives us lizard form, uh, beginning of your turn, gain four block. Current stancer. Okay, cool. Transform one card. Let's transform one of our strikes into something else. Oh, shoot! Human form! That's something else altogether. Sissy, why do we have sloth? Oh, is that our curse? Autoplay, lose all max energy, gain one max energy at the end of each turn. We gotta get rid of that eventually. But we can't just yet. Okay, so this, when you channel Lyman Dream Gene Trigger, it's a fact. Lyman is so-so. The adaptations. One of them was Lyman. Um, yeah, I, w I want to upgrade this so I can automatically get the orb slot. 
Uh, let's do nine damage. Actually, yeah, no, I can't use either of those right now. Merfolk and Lyman. Does this have Merfolk? It says both Merfolk and Lyman. Let's add some block together and boom, and discard that strike because we'll need a few more defenses. We only have 12 out of the 15 we'll be taking. So we took three damage. Does this even happen? Yeah, it totally does. Boom. Discard both of those. That's not even going to attack, so we can attack it, but we don't have any other attacking cards we can use. That thing, if it's in our hand at end of turn, it just gets uh, exhausted. So it's in here. I can't use it until next game. Uh, no. Lyman, Merfolk, Insect. I got all of those. Boof and boof. Try to deal at least a little bit of damage to the merchant, because once we get all of that done, then we'll get a whole lot of monies back. Ooh! Rare card. Your drones deal one more damage, apply one more block, and channel two insect genes. See, I was trying to get the power mastery to get insect. We can't buy anything. This card, this one is awesome. This one can be useful, but not if we have human form. Strength is good. Featherstorm is fun. We can't do any of that stuff, so let's move on. Puzzle cube. Relics. As you play through Slay the Spire, you get random relics that do stuff. Peace pipe. That can be useful. Okay. We didn't get three chests in a row. Okay. Let's discard both of those. Hey, sweet. I have Lyman. Now I have four orb slots. And Boot Mother. Two insects. Get rid of both of those. Now we only have one energy. Uh, ritual. Okay. Three, six, nine, twelve. And this. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, four. We'll be fine. I miscounted. Because I forgot my folk also gives three. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fourteen. How about we do wait, hold on a second. Six so four block there, five, six, seven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So one of these attacks. And a ritual. Confirm. An attack. Uh the treasure chest monster, when it get every time it gets attacked, a status card. With a cost of one and a... Boom. This got both of those. Okay, so now I have the dreaded human form. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Boom. So yeah, it had shield and attack. Now I'll attack for five damage twice. Why does it matter that it's attacking for five damage twice? Why can't it just attack for ten? Because of how these things work. So boom, boom, boom. So now since I had since I had the sloth, everything is getting to be so much better. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's keep both of you. So now I have more energy than I could ever use before. Confirm. Boom. So that would make it 16. Yeah, let's get some uh, extra gold, or in this case, souls, because this is the uh, downfall version. Boom, Currents Dancer, why not? Gosh, that sloth is a downside for like three turns, and then it's awesome again. So 11 damage twice, it's... As you can see, there's a strength of six, so if it didn't have the strength of six, it'd be doing five damage twice again. This is supposed to be ethereal, but it's not. Oh! Oh, I think I get it. This is supposed to have. Okay, it's supposed to exhaust when it, you use it once, but upgrading it makes it not exhaust. That's what I was missing. 
Every time you hit it, you get another one of these stat scots, but we have so many... What we need is the top. Uh, what the top does is, whenever you run out of cards in hand, you draw one card. Yeah, Mitchell's not going to make it very far. Probably should have just let that drone be shield. Ouch. Oh yeah, sure, we get all of the defense cards now. Done. Okay, warning shot. Dexterity gives you extra block whenever you use a blocking card. What do we have here? Plant form, gain of growth. Ooh. Do we want to get a two cost card? Mofolk and Lyman. Six damage two times. Having uh, attack cards that deal damage multiple times is useful if you get strength cards. Okay, so I kind of followed all of these question marks. Uh, what we want is to find elites because elites will drop a relic when they're defeated. Uh, I can only defeat one elite. I'm going to go for this one, which means let's do this. So if you have a place lay the spine, you're like, hey, what's all of this junk? I have no idea what all this stuff is. See, now it's no longer ethereal. This is specifically, if you have Lyman form, gain orb slot, but it changes to gain an orb slot and a Lyman gene. Uh, Limian gene. Honestly, I could have done a lot better than Limian. I want something that I'd actually want to evoke, but now it's just pay one, get orb slot. Okay, and let's attack it. Because it's not attacking, it's going to ritual itself, which means that it'll get extra attack power every single turn. Oh gosh, I think I just tripled that. Um... Boof, 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 boof. Confirm. My folk form. So that gives us a bunch. Yeah, whenever you channel gene, whenever you put it one here, evoke it. So get rid of it immediately, but double. So we already have the six block that we need. All we have to do is keep getting more things. Yeah, I can get that next turn. Wasn't where I was about to draw it, but oh well. Um, boom. And then two drones. So let's attack with one. And screw it, attack with the other. It's going to get extra strength every turn. Three extra strength each turn. Which is really bad. So we get four drones immediately here. Okay, okay, 15, so let's just attack it with everything and take the two, what do we think? Okay. No, let's take the zero and kill it next turn. Hopefully we get like two strikes. We didn't get two strikes, but we did get this heavy kick. Uh, Venom glands is lizard form. Lizard gives poison, shadow form just stacks up it to deal damage. Insect form add a drone to your hand. We won't have insect form. Just for the record. Shoot. Ooh, lava folk. I like lava folk. Don't get it enough. Okay, get both of those. Get both of these. Now we just have three insects. Uh, but we don't have any defense. No, shoot. We're gonna take a lot of damage. Yeah, I was hoping that we would just get these drones, but we just did not. Actually, wait a second. I can do this to get centaur form. Do this to steal centaur form. So now if you look at this, this has centaur form on it. So every time I use it, I'll get centaur form. What does centaur form do? Uh, increase the damage of your next attack by three. One, two, three, four. As you can see, those drones can be useful. Phoenix, yes, and Phoenix, upgrade. Some of these cards are, like, okay before they get upgraded. But once they get upgraded, they become, like, awesome. So, Venom Glands, uh, defense. 
I'll strike down at the weaker one. I'll just throw that at the eye. Soul burn is from this downfall mod. I don't have that, but do have Phoenix. Phoenix I can totally use. No, I'll take all of these defenses. Working around an enemy who has... No, I'll keep the dive. Yeah, working around an enemy who has something like uh, thorns is not the easiest thing to do because you have to, like, figure out, okay, I can do this, I cannot do this. Oh, shoot, I'm going to lose my ritual. Oh, no, my poor ritual. I'm not sure what happened to my human form, but it's gone now. There it is, drop pile. My folk form! Uh, deal six damage. Deal three damage. Okay, we already have that succubus form channel shadow gene. Are we going to debuff the enemies? Well, we will if we start taking succubus form. So anyway, this here Phoenix card. Deal 6 damage to channel lava folk. If you have harpy, then adapt with your oldest lava folk gene. The adapt means that this card for the rest of combat gets the ability of a lava folk gene, which is deal 2 damage to a random enemy two times. Uh, but this is channel lava folk gene and adapt with your oldest one. And then, either, I mean, if you don't have harpy form, which we don't, have, we'll just adapt with all of them immediately, but if we have human form, that won't work. So that's the problem here. Attack deals unblocked attack damage this turn. Apply to poison. Poison is very useful. So it's a lot of, so a lot of the characters I played as, like, you get to a point where you can upgrade cards, like, eh, I don't even know what to upgrade. With this one, it's like, this card, this card, this card, this card, and this card all need to be upgraded immediately. Okay, I'm going to lose this immediately, so this is not a human form run. Uh, this is not a human form fight. So this is an elite. Start off with eight shield. Once all that shield breaks, boom, it comes up. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Ritual. Let's go to the defend, but keep the phoenix. Let's keep the triple drones. Now, this is another enemy that we really want to kill faster, if at all possible. Boom. So, adaptations, none. But we do have a Lava Folk gene. We just didn't have a Harpy gene, so we made one. 4, 8, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19. Or we can do this. See that poison? It's going to take 16 poison damage and then reduce the poison by one. So now for the rest of this combat, we can just block as much as possible. Lower companion, get insect form. Oh wait, there's no, there's no point of that. I didn't even notice it wasn't attacking. Yes, yeah, so if we do a little bit of damage, say heavy kick, its poison damage is more than its current health, so it will just die before it can attack. So there's nothing to worry about. Decoder ring is... Yeah, it's not one that I like. So this will channel Lava Folk and Plant. Boom. And we're almost to the boss, but first we have this one little combat. Let's get rid of Dark Desires. Let's grab the human form, get rid of both of those guys. Let's get this and get a whole bunch of defense that way. Um, do we want to? I don't think we do. Potions are just like one-time use things. We are losing health, but after we beat the boss, we'll get all of our health back. So, Boot Mother, get Chow to Insects, get four drones. Fire Bloom, Lava, and Plant, which gives us growth. So, we can block. We can block half of that. So, we do this and this. If we could kill this with these last two, we'd be fine. But no, so let's not do that. Instead, let's get up more defenses. Okay, so now the problem is we can't 
use that. If we have human form, then we can't get any more adaptations. One, two, three, four. See, Phoenix at least channels two different things. Fire Bloom channels two different things. That's why we want both of them. And they both only cost one, despite channeling two different things. So let's draw a card off of this and take seven damage because we are out of energy. This channels two. This does all of that. Boof, boof, boof. Oh, grow! Gain an orb slot! Okay. Here's my plan. Upgrade all of this. And you are now dealing less damage for like three turns. I'll adapt with the plant. Discard that. Oh, yeah. Nice. And turn, let that give me enough block. Oh wait, didn't realize we have merfolk. So you normally have nothing. Get this, get this. Get that. No point in drawing three cards unless I happen to draw the sloth card. We're running low on health. Okay. But you're not attacking, so I can just do all of this stuff. You're not attacking, but you will be putting up shields. Let's just get an orb slot. Nothing wrong with that. Let's do this. So you will be attacking for a lot. So let's shield. Okay, we're down to very little health now. Let's... Yeah, let's do this. We're safe for a turn. Boop. 12 damage. Basic 3 damage. End. Okay, but now we have human form. Ah, boot mother. Perfect. And Lyman Mastery. Also perfect. Let's get rid of both of these. Both that. And that. And... Yeah, let's do this. Yep, yeah, we got the experience for that. And six. So, boof, boof, boof. And I'm going to keep this in here, just so I don't take any damage. Right down to about halfway. Let's ritualize. Discard both of those cards. Phoenix. Dr. Desires. let's succubus him. This next attack does four less damage. Let's get this. Drone, drone, drone. And then just because we can, let's defend. So the sloth is working in our favor. I succeed by this insane energy output that we have now. Okay, eight, 12, 15. So that's nine. Done. But 13 poison, 12 health. Let's end the turn. They die. So that's... The first third of the basic game. Uh, this is a mod, don't worry about it. Okay, eruption or stalker, but that's only if they have poison. Until the cost would exceed X, exhaust, and if you have lime form, you. Every eight times you deal damage, you deal 18 damage to all enemies. This is really good, because, like, the uh, Phoenix, the lava form thing that deals two damage twice. Deal. A lava form thing that deals two damage twice is dealing damage twice. That thing is important for later. Okay, so if we scroll down in the map a little bit, we can see only like two elites. This one, the faded one, is important for a mod that will let us go to endless mode, but we're not planning on that. Wow! I always do Ascension 1, so there's always a bunch of elites, but wow. It's like nothing. Okay, if we go here... What do you think? Two shops? Try to, uh... We're at 250 gold. We can buy something, I'm sure. Also, now our dexterity is increased. Uh, this will give us an extra one of these, but we don't really need it if we're going to be using human form. Also, human form, we should probably unetherealize. If we're going to be using it. Child 2 Lava Folk genes. 
uh, yeah, this will now channel three genes for us, which will be awesome. Boom, and then boom. Oh yeah, we have four energy, we just can't get potions. Alright, the ritual is getting more cards. Oh yeah, if you do the adopt thing successfully, it goes like down there. Bloop. Alright. Drat. Anyway, wait, 15, so. Uh. Hold on a second. Hold on a bloody second. I see what you're doing. Now the Phoenix, because Phoenix is right. Okay. Do I have Harpy yet? I do not, shockingly enough, have Harpy. So steal the Harpy. Discard that one. Let's brood, mother. Let's grow. Uh, Limian? Or Fire Bloom? Fire Bloom? Drone, drone, because it's about to shield for a lot, like 30 or 40. 30. Okay, so we got an extra because plant. So how do we want to do this? I say ritual with all of this stuff. I don't have Lava Folk yet, do I? Nope. Missing Lava Folk as well as Shadow and Beast, which we haven't gotten to yet. So I have this, and that deals a lot of stuff. It's going to deal zero damage five times. Let's do this thing. Boof. 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 Can I get past its shield, but it's going to keep its shield for a bit? Yes. Zero damage fully. So let's human form this. It's not attacking, so we can do this. So it's going to try to run away now, but we got it. Discard the Limian Mastery because we don't need it right now. And then Fire Bloom. Okay. What do we got here? So, right now, while we're in human form, anything that gives us platform actually gives us an extra energy. Uh, no, we don't have that, but we do have this for damage. This for I don't know why. This and this both for damage. And then we can end it. So it's down to 277. We got it down by a lot. We didn't really take much. Spider Bite. Yes. Add one damage to each drone in your exhaust pile. We upgrade that. That'll change us to two. Okay, so Kunai is awesome if we're using all of our drones. Prismatic Shard is always underwhelming. Phoenix is nice, but I would rather get relics like this Kunai. I could have also removed that card that we had, but I don't want to, and I could use this for sale to sell potions and relics back to the shopkeeper. That's a mod. But I chose not to. Okay, so that's the one we want, so we want to go through this path, which means this fella. If you're not following, I'll probably do a vanilla playthrough of this game for stream at some point. Okay, we need Shadow and Beast is all we need, so... We can totally grow, we can brood mother, we can ritualize, get rid of the defend. I still want to fire bloom though. Sorry, human form. Ow. Just didn't get it. 13 damage. Um, no, let's defend and keep that. The problem is these fellows will shield and then run away. I know them. That's what they do. It's 
So he's about to shield, and then the turn after, he'll run away. So let's Phoenix. Can't get the potion because we have that. Beast form. When we play an attack this turn, gain two block. Shockingly useful. Very useful with the drones. Alright, wait, we have beast form already. Beast form! Wait, Venom Glides? No, no, let's keep Venom Glides. Venom Glides are fun. Okay, this thing means that if we ever actually attack it, it'll get three shield, then this number will go up. Uh, specifically, if we attack it, well, it doesn't have shield. So let's attack it with the drone. See that number's going up? But its poison number's also going up, and it's not attacking. So, this is fine. I'm really hoping this recording's all going well. We're, like, about halfway through the episode, maybe. Okay, I specifically need Shadow, but we don't have anything that gives Shadow, except for the one thing that gives Shadow if we have Succubus, and we really don't get Succubus, except for that same card. That'll do it. So. This card, specifically. So we'd have to play the card again. I think that was a power, too. <laughs> Shadow isn't so great, anyway. Yeah, I probably should have just let that be defense, but it doesn't matter, because, hey, we got it. Boof. Boof. And Phoenix. Yeah, I kind of wish I could get, like, a second human form. If they stack, then yes. Join to your hand first, and Fate 1. It's like scrying, basically. Deal 7 damage. If you have Lizard form, you apply 4 poison. Um... Do I really even want these? Sometimes the best idea is just to skip. Okay, so we don't have much in the way of money right now. But we do have... Our cards that can do things. So like Spider Bite. Holler! Oh, it's Dexterity that that gets. Right, this is a Shuriken that gives us strength. No, still pointing that. Is this? No, 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 no. Okay. We're going to be taking... It wants us to take a lot of damage here. Boof. There are dexterity is going up very high, so we can definitely like protect ourselves here. Okay, check this out. Human form. Grab both of those for a Lyman. And it's like, oh, how do you get used to it if it's all, like, hectic like this? Like, rituals and adaptions and this and that. How do you deal with it all? It's like, you just keep playing until you start to know what all of the stuff does. And by then, you know what the stuff does, so it's fine. So we didn't bring it down by much, unfortunately, because if all that shield... Ooh, Salamander. Lizard genes also deal two damage. Lava folk genes deal an extra damage. Shell a lizard and a lava folk. As opposed to Charm Plus, which is give Succubus form, or applies Vulnerable. Oh shoot! Yeah, we're like out of money because we didn't beat that. This map is awesome! We can just scan the map and be like, oh, we want this relic, this relic, and this relic. Let's go down this path. This I haven't tried yet, but I mean, it seems okay. It affects like the next turn, not the current turn, so it's like, yeah. Raise your max HP by 10, or get the Sapphire Key, I'll raise it by 10. And if we buy the uh, shopkeeper's mat, we can sell that pair right back and keep that 10 HP. Okay, offer a card. Uh, I could offer the Sloth card, but Sloth is actually useful. I'm going to offer Currents Dancer because, like, meh. Heal to full HP for offering an uncommon card. Let's do this. Uh, three potions. Can't get potions. Lose Warding Shard. Um... Excuse me, no. Lose the kunai to get a rare, rare card. 
Uh, Stampede. I didn't even get to choose the rare card. Deal six damage, and then deal six damage to all enemies twice. Any channel of the centaur. It's not even an upgraded rare card. What's wrong with you? Boof. Um. Boof. And then boof. And then boof. Ta-da! We're fine. Okay. Get the human form. Okay, and the only one I can't get yet is... One that we actually just can't get. I'm fine. This is, yes, a modded enemy. If you attack it, it shouldn't you attack it, it gets like stuff on it. Ta da! Deal 18 damage to all enemies. Let's attack it two more times, I guess. Are we good? Any more drones? I mean, we don't exactly need much else. Shoot, one extra damage and that thing is dead. But we're about to take 12. Let's use this potion and hope we get... Nope, okay. Shoot. Well, that sucks. But at the very least... Ta-da! Try compare one if you play a card, deal one damage to a random enemy. That would have saved us from taking 12 damage in that last fight. Emerald Key. We'll see if we can actually use it, because sometimes you can and sometimes you cannot. Channel Lava Folk whenever a drone is exhausted this turn. Trigger your oldest Lava Folk gene, which we won't be able to do if we have human. But we also gain Insect Form who give us a drone. Or multiple drones. Upgrade a card. Uh, Brood Mother is nice. Human form would be okay. Grove would be so-so. That is meh. Deals damage just the same number of times. Phoenix would be yes. Nah. This is a yes because it's plus two damage for each drone in your exhaust file instead of just one. Which means it powers up extra fast. So I guess let's go this way just so we go through a campfire. If we have 100 souls, we can break the emerald, get one permanent dexterity. But let's instead upgrade. And let's see, 10 damage. No, I don't really like the cards that's like, oh, you upgrade them. It does slightly more damage. I like the ones that's like, see, this is a power, so all of the drones deal an extra damage, an extra block more if you do that. But it's like, yeah. Oh yeah, deal a bit more damage, deal a bit more damage. But like these things are like, at the startup, you get these extra things. So I'm going to upgrade this one. When the round starts, we'll get an insect gene and get a drone in our hand. If this is in the deck, we'll start with an insect gene. So this thing gives us a random gene at the start of the combat. And that card just upgraded give, gave us this insect gene. Let's get Limian Mastery. Uh, sure. All right, this fellow is about to make things difficult. So let's attack them for a lot. So they are giving us a special ability that says the cost of our cards are randomized. If we draw a card, the cost gets randomized. So, like, the Stampede is usually 2, and now it's 0. I have had a run where I started off with that ability and made it work extremely well because I just kept putting in expensive cards and stuff to, like, refresh my hand. So, it's like, oh, here's a bunch of cards that normally cost, like, 3 or more, but now some of them cost 0, so I'll spend all the zeros. Oh, no, what was it? I had a bunch of cards that it's, like, they cost 2, but they give, like, 1 energy back or something. It's like, okay, let's see if you give me energy for free. Because if you cost one, you pay for yourself. If you cost zero, then you're free. So let's human form immediately. Um, Salamander is... Oh, wait, this is an actual power. Lizard and Lava Folk to deal a bunch of extra damages. And then let's do both of these. 
Okay. Let's dive. Let's protect ourselves. Boof. Remember, every card deals one damage. So if we can get into a loop where we play infinite cards, we'll deal an infinite amount of damage. I can only play one energy worth of cards, so I decide to block. Um... I mean, I say gaining a drone isn't nice. I'm trying here, okay? I'm gonna have a few turns that's gonna be a little bit poor. Just don't have any shadows like Gaston. Uh, not that card. Phoenix, fine. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> every time I play a card, I deal one damage, and every time I deal that one damage, so this is like seven. Wait, why? Oh, I don't know. Four, three, Okay, that one free damage doesn't count. But watch this. It's now at five. Four. Three, two, one, nine, eight, seven. Two, one, zero, nine, done. Kill a nightmare, unlock endless, pick up stampede. Uh, this is random quests that we can get, like killing enemies, doing special things, or picking up certain cards, or types of cards. We get these void shards that we can then use in special shops to get very overpowered cards. Because uh, if you do go into endless mode, you'll need those overpowered cards. Because you might see like an enemy with 200 health and say, oh, that's big that's massive how will we ever beat it you go into endless and see a boss with 20,000 health and go all right let's do this if you attack the so you plant form adapt this with the plant gene here's the thing though this will give us a uh, plant even if we pay zero into it so like, see these enemies have like 78 and 49 once you get into endless mode you can just kill them immediately. It's fine. It doesn't matter. Ta-da! Grow and brood mother. Ta-da! Don't even need that anymore. One of them I haven't even touched yet. One of them I didn't even have to spend a card on. For him, draw that many plant form, we find one. So if we happen to be in plant form when we play this, we'll get back one energy. Um, but only if we spent an energy to play it. Specifically. I'm fine skipping. So anyway, here's a boss that has 270 health. 270. I beat a boss with like over 300,000 health. That's not even the worst of it. A boss with over 300,000 health where I could only play 15 cards in a turn. Let me count that. That's two cards. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Okay. We did 39 damage. Oh, by the way, this boss is a special thing. Wait, pilot so, when she next enters the video plays right now. Oh, sometimes those things are negatives. Well, okay. Oh, is that a special thing of this? Yeah, insect form. Create and exhaust two drones, so it deals an extra couple of damage. Block, and then gain some block. So when you attack me, you'll be taking damage right back. 
Yeah, you can absolutely get cards that just deal like a couple thousand damage. It's like no big deal. The ritual dagger is in the vanilla game and it's like the key to endless mode vanilla. Okay, okay. Do we? Human form, let's do this. And ritual. Discard the strike. At the start of your turn, die. Blasphemer wears off. You tried to die. You couldn't die. I don't know. I'll keep both of those. That's fine. Venom glands. Drone. 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 Dive. 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 Oh, right. Eruption. Uh, Libyan Mastery, get an extra orb slot. Take a look at some cards. Don't necessarily want this, but let's do it anyway. Right, and then get a nice growth. Are you ready for this? Here comes the Phoenix! Okay, fine. Fire ants. Boom, 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 boom! Increase the... Uh... Oh, we can finally get Shadow! What do you think? Do we want Shadows now? Let's grab Shadow. Let's try to add a Shadow to our thing. Flawless the boss, which is where you just don't... I've never actually used this die thing, because by the time you unlock it, once I go into... At least drop an extra relic. Yeah, I don't get potions, so that... Okay, so there's one more thing through, and then we'll be done with like the non endless part of the game. I wanna go. This is a special shop, by the way. Okay, not very many elites. There's two on the right side, one in the middle, one again on the left. I wanna go to the shop. I don't see other shops. I see one at the very end of this path, but this is like all enemies. <laughs> I like hitting the question mark. God, this is so many enemies. Let's go through the far left. No, no, because that doesn't get us stuff. If we go down here, we get a lot of question marks, a couple of campfires. Let's go down here. Uh, Yeah, gain a dexterity and smith up. Let's get Broodmother up because we're, we use drones constantly as it stands. Okay. Um. Why don't you just do it? Boom. Human form. Ta da! Free thingy. So, what is that? 6, 12. So we might not be getting shadow form, necessarily, but... Fortunately, dexterity seems to work with drones. Eruption, yes! Stampede. Dive. Ouch. Ritual someone. Um, 
deal six damage in harpy form. Boop. Alright, cool. Uh, Limeon. Let's discard both of these. Everything gives, like, block. It's weird. Alright, get an orb slot. Get block, get block. Deal damage. Get the block, take the damage. Block the damage. Okay, listen, I specifically want our ritual to have the thing in it. We're not going to get it. I might as well just get a charm. Yes, all Psychopus does is uh, give Lost, which just reduces their next one attack. But it's like, or well, you can get two points of shield. And it's like... Ooh, what if you attack this turn? Deal 2x damage back? Shoot! Alright, let's do this thing. Okay, so they're doing... Th 30 attack actually so human form to get all that stuff talent strike to draw some cards dive to get a bunch of block but not quite up to the 30 we need get this to get a bunch of drones so that'd be so that's 20 that's 28 Strictly speaking, you don't have to rush, but there is a timer around somewhere that's like watching you the entire time you're playing. It's like, you know, you don't technically have to rush, but you can. Boom, boom, boom! Oh my gosh, wait, wait, wait! We got a lot of souls. Okay, I have proper gene mastery, but we don't need orb slots, that's the problem. Orb slots are nice until you get human form, and it's like, okay, why? Drown, hey, 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 drown. Nine block, and the animal will take damage equal to your block, and eat channel merfolk. So that's nice. I debuff to an enemy, they take two damage. So this is if you're using a lust build, because boom, bada boom, bada boom. Uh, yeah, you can retain your hand, and this is rest stuff, but I don't rest. So what I'm going to do is buy this, buy this. Sell the peach, because we don't need it. I think all the rest are active use. Could potentially sell peace pipe, but nah, we'll probably use it eventually. Don't want the regal pillow, because I... If you're at a if you're going through the game in such a way that you actually have to rest, you've already screwed up. <laughs> like... One, you've already screwed up and taking enough damage that the rest is viable. And two, you've screwed up in such a way that, like... Okay, okay. Does it take 13 or does it take more? It takes... Okay, cool. So it's actually more viable to not play those. Although I will say, Venom.
couldn't get it done in like one turn, but oh gosh. Also couldn't flawless it. It's an issue. It's done. Ooh. If, okay, center form to beast form. If you don't have center form, it gives you center form. If you have center form but don't have beast form, it gives you beast form. If you have center form and beast form, you'll get an extra one strength. So this is basically two strength and get centaur form, which will increase the next damage for our next attack by uh, six if we're under human form. You see how logical it all is? I'll point out that means artifact, which means we can't quite debuff it so easily. Oh, he took like one. What abs? Reaction, battle form, ritual. Let's keep both of those, I guess. Uh, yeah, end the turn. Human form. And Phoenix. And, whoops. Dive. And Fire Ants. Photosynthesis, because screw you. And just end you. Hatch! Add two drones to your hand and an insect gene, so add four drones. If we're in human form. Ooh, the first gene you evoke each turn is evoked twice. Sweet! That is a specialty. Just for this character. Skip to any non boss room. No, we have like a good track. We have like a bunch of question marks. Okay, cool. Um, hey. So we can't get godly powers. Each turn, the first two form that channel a gene also apply that conditional effect. Um, yeah, we can't get chunk. We can't get any relics. We could get rid of a card. Let's get rid of a card. Let's get rid of a basic strike. And proceed. Question mark. No investments. We're broke. Alright, only 182 health. As you can see, it's not really much of an issue. Okay, we need like 18. So keep two of these alive, I guess. I guess gonna probably use that blocking just to hurt these two for a bit, but like, oh well, honestly. And then, all right, so you're dead. That's a lot of damage, but this is an elite. I'm sorry, did you just get a new card? 11 adaptations? Wait, we had shadow? Oh, sweet! We had shadow! Alright. It's attacking for 16, so we can definitely just attack because we have way more than enough block. So let's drown and then let's ritualify. Um, confirm both. Shoot, we drew the human form.
Hey, one of our phoenixes has an adaptation of Lava Folk. No, that's Lemmy, that's not my folk. That's my folk. So as you can see, we have nothing to worry about. I and this video is over an hour right now. But see, here's the thing. This is the game that I play like all the time. If you want to know what I'm playing, it's like, oh hey, what's going on in your world? It's like, no, it's this game. This is the game I play. But we deal an extra seven damage at the very end. Or will we take enough to die? I don't think we actually have enough damage, do we? Nope, no end of turn damage. We actually just died. If we were focused, we could have actually killed that. Or I could have killed that. But I didn't because I wasn't focusing and instead I died. So let's slay the spire. Also, there's some music? I normally play with the game muted because I'm watching videos and stuff while I play this, but the music is so rad that as soon as I turned the music on to listen to it, I was like, I gotta make a video of this, but that was like a week ago, so like whatevs. So I hope you all enjoyed this. I will play more Slay the Spire, absolutely. Um, will I play more on video? Potentially. Probably with a different character, like one run through with each character. Once I get used to it, I think that'll be good. Get used to the character, then play a nice run. And if I go into endless mode, that'll be nice. But this has been the, um, 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 this has been the, the, the evolution. Slay the Spire, the evolution.